Welcome back, lore nerds. It's good to have you here. Not enough people are interested in the lore and backstory behind the games they play, which is why you are pretty awesome. If you have any friends that play, for example, Mono Warfare, ask them to dive a bit into the lore, maybe watch a video or two, and let them know it immerses you in the game so much more. But anyway, good that you're here. Let's get into today's topic. Opposing the coalition, which I covered in a previous video, check it out if you haven't, is the Allegiance, a unification of Spetsnaz, Jekylls and Chimera forces. Similar to the last time, we have 10 operators to go through, each one having a different interesting backstory and ties to both multiplayer and campaign characters like Captain Price and Nikolai. In there are tales of brotherhood and betrayal, so if you're as excited about the lore as I am, let me immerse you in the backstory of the Allegiance operators. The Spetsnaz, the Russian Special Operation Forces, is the elite counter-terrorism unit of the Russian military and includes four operators, Bill, Minotaur, Rodion and Nikto. Dmitry Bill was born in 1984 in the Soviet Union. In 2005, Bill joined the Spetsnaz selection with his brother Maxim Minotaur and served in Spetsgruppe A, Alpha Group, in counterterrorism where he achieved the rank of Staff Sergeant. Bill and Minotaur were described as inseparable. In 2009, Bill was gravely injured during the Kurbanov hospital siege during the Second Chechen War. Bill suffered a C6 spinal cord injury from a gunshot wound. He was reported dead to Minotaur, who was discharged for psychological trauma, blaming himself for the death of his brother. Bill was allowed to continue active duty in an administrative role in the GRU. He was fully rehabilitated over five years. In April 2014, he passed the physical requirements for readmission into the Alpha Ground. Bill later served six months under General Roman Barkov until he filed a formal complaint citing civilian deaths. In July 2019, Dmitry tracked down his brother and recruited him for the Allegiance in November of that same year. His brother, Maxim Minotaur Bill, joined with his brother Dmitry the Spetsnaz selection in 2005 and served in the Spetsgruppe A Alpha Group in counterterrorism where he achieved the rank of sergeant. During the Second Chechen War, Minotaur saved countless of lives during the Kurbanov hospital siege in 2009. He witnessed the wounding of his brother and was falsely informed of his death. Blaming himself for the death of his brother, Maxim was discharged for psychological trauma. Minotaur spent the following 10 years joining different BMC groups operating in Southeast Asia under the name Sergei Kovopuskov. During the time, he accrued several arrest warrants for felonies in Cambodia, Laos and Thailand. He was tracked down by his brother in July 2019 and joined the Allegiance in November the same year. Nikodim Rodionovich Egorov served two years in the 24th Special Purpose Brigade of the Spetsnaz in Irkutsk, where he specialized in state-of-the-art and prototype weapon systems. He also idealized Spetsnaz veteran Staff Sergeant Dmitry Bill. Egorov applied for selection in Spetsgruppe B, or Vimpo, to take part in counter-terrorism operations citing a desire to fight real evil, referring to Alcatala attacks in Uzbekistan and abroad. After 18 months, Igorov passed the Vimpel selection and was directly deployed into the Allegiance's active duty by Sergeant Kamarov for his expertise in Western culture. During that time, Nikodim developed a rapport with Yego Novak from the Chimera unit. Nikto, the Allegiance operator coming with Season 1, is a former FSB deep cover agent. During his period of serving, he was captured and tortured at the hands of Mr. Z. His face was disfigured and he was later diagnosed with acute dissociative disorder. To this day, he remains a methodical, calculating soldier and thus he was reassigned to the Spetsnaz to utilize this skill set. The Jekylls are a private military company founded by Victor Zane Metico and his brother Abraham, after accusing the government of keeping funds meant to fight AQ. The group is described as a pan-African revolutionary group backed by the Allegiance. The group is primarily financed by black market petroleum and illegal arms sales. The Jekylls are officially designated a terrorist group by the Nigerian government and coalition forces. 
Victor Isaac Zane Medico was born on June 20th, 1984 in Nigeria. He served in the Nigerian army for 12 years between the 1st Division, 3rd Armored Division and 7th Infantry Division. During his service he achieved the rank of Captain. On April 2nd, 2016 Medico resigned in protest after having filed three formal complaints against the government alleging misappropriation of foreign aid intended for the fight against AQ in West Africa. Medico left with his brother Abraham and founded the Jackals, a PMC backed by the Allegiance. Medico became known as Commander Zane. Zane began recruiting and training troops from across Africa in defense of our countries, our families and our way of life. He was the sole recruiter of the operator Grinch. Zane also entered a tenuous partnership with Azur El Saraf, an Egyptian arms dealer. On June 12, 2018, Coalition launched an Operation Iron Canopy with the intent to capture Zayn. Lieutenant Jacob Thorne was believed to have encountered Zayn during the operation but reported negative contact. Not much is known about the early life of Grinch, however his Eastern Bantu accent suggests he received a Western education. Grinch appeared to be educated in both Coalition and Allegiant battle doctrines combined with the self-taught survivalism. In 2017, Grinch was found by a Jackals patrol, led by Zane, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Three members of the Jackals were killed by improvised traps and sniper fire. Zane negotiated a ceasefire and contracted Grinch for the Jackals. Coalition Intel later revealed payments from known Jackal shell companies to an anonymous offshore account in the Cayman Islands. Azur was born in Egypt in 1986. He became an arms dealer in Alexandria and became active across Northern Africa in 2007. After an arms deal with AQ's rifle Chimera, Azur's family, his wife and his two children were murdered by Jamal the Butcher Rahar. After their death, Azur began hiring private instructors and entered combat training from Western and Eastern PMCs, including Chimera over six years. In 2018, Azur entered a long-term partnership with the Jackals, consolidating influence across the continent. However, frequent tension has been observed between Azur and Jackals founder Zane. And that brings us to Chimera, a PMC under the leadership of Nikolai, Captain Price's informant. It seems to hire new former military operators from multiple countries as well as dirty soldiers having problems with law and former gangsters. Yegor Arturovich Novak was born in Ukraine on March 29, 1986. Yegor served two years in the Ukrainian naval infantry. After being discharged, he entered the private sector and used his contact in the navy across the Black Sea for both white and black market shipping. Yegor began to deal exclusive in illegal arms and cigarettes. Yegor was forced out of Ukraine by former partners in the Sokolov crime family after refusing to broker a weapons deal with Imran Zakayev known arms dealer and ultranationalist. In 2011 he entered a long-term contract with Chimera PMC expanding contacts across Eastern Europe. Yegor became a long-term associate and fixer for Chimera leader Nikolai and appeared to be only loyal to him. On October 31st, 2019, he took part in the interrogation of Jamal the Butcher Rahar with Nikolai, Captain Price and Sergeant Garrick of the SAS. After Rahar's son and wife were brought into the room, Edgar blindfolded them but expressed his discomfort with the situation and was dismissed from the interrogation. Sebastian Kruger was born on March 29, 1985. He joined the Bundeswehr under the identity of Joseph Doss. Kruger received exceptional marks in long-range surveillance training and passed subsequent selection process for the Commando Spezialkräfte. After three years, he was inducted into the KSK 4th Platoon under Lieutenant Hans Golem Blaustein. Blaustein befriended Kruger in an effort to integrate him with the rest of the squad as he claimed to see talent in a troubled mind. On April 12, 2018, during Operation Nachtigall in Mozambique, civilians were found killed with 7.62 NATO rounds consistent with Kruger's weapon. Kruger escaped KSK custody two days later. It is suspected Golem aided or interfered with the escape of Kruger, but evidence was inconclusive. Kruger's friendship with Blaustein ended after his removal from the KSK. 
Kruger fled to Eastern Europe where he made contact with Chimera and entered a long-term contract with currently two years in active service. Sydney was born in 1991 in Washington DC, United States of America, to a wealthy family of politicians. She joined the United States Army at 18, where she was stationed in the Yambol province in Bulgaria where she met Chimera leader Nikolai during an interesting bar fight. During her four years of service, Sydney enrolled in every available training course and completed all of them. During the next five years, she traveled as a PMC to different conflict zones, including Ukraine, Uzbekistan, and Mozambique. In 2018, she signed up for a long-term contract with Chimera. In March 2020, AQ's new leader, Khaled al-Assad, launched a full-scale assault against Ferdansk in Kostovia. Operators from Coalition and Allegiance were deployed to Ferdansk to stop AQ as part of the Armistice Initiative. During a service with the Armistice, Sydney reportedly developed a friendly rivalry with Sergeant Dominique Domino Tham from the WARCOM unit of the Coalition. Those were the 10 operators of the Allegiance. It's really cool to see how certain operators have ties with each other, like Minotaur and Bill being brothers, Kruger and Golem having had a friendship, or Sid and Jaeger having ties to Nikolai. Obviously, there are more operators to come, which I will cover in a future video. The Coalition has 10 operators too, so don't forget to check out that video if you like this one. I'm thinking of doing lore behind the multiplayer maps next, so let me know in the comments if you're interested in that. And that concludes this video. I want to thank you for watching. It's great to see other people enjoying the lore as much as I am. If you did enjoy it, leave a like on the video as it will help me being discovered by other viewers. If you disliked it, leave a dislike, but some feedback would be nice. Subscribe if you're interested in similar content and make sure to put in requests for videos. That's it. I'll talk to you soon. Peace out.